If you have a budget around $2,000, you came to the right video. I will show you, in my opinion, the best all around PC for 2000 bucks, meaning that it's going to be not only great for 4K gaming, but also content creation and streaming. Now, it's important for you to watch this whole video because if you want this PC just for gaming, you can save a lot of money and have the same exact performance. And I'm going to explain you why. And also, I will explain to you how to make this PC more expensive in case your budget is a bit higher to get that extra performance. You will have the links to all of these components, downgrades and upgrades down below in the video description. That said, let's start. For the CPU, I picked the i5 13600K. I believe this is the best all-around CPU that you can get right now for both gaming and content creation at the same time. For the CPU cooler, I went with a 240 all-in-one liquid cooler, the Deep Cool Castle 240EX. This one is an RGB CPU cooler and this whole PC is going to have RGB. If you don't like that, then don't worry about it because in the video description, like I said before, you will also have a gaming PC that's going to perform exactly the same to this one with non-RGB. With the motherboard, I picked the Astrog C690 Extreme. This one has great audio and great features for both gaming and content creation. It also has some RGB. For the memory kit, I picked the Corsair RGB RT. 32 gigs of RAM, 2x16, this is dual channel memory, a 3600mhz CL16 memory, this is a super fast DDR4 kit, and DDR5 is still quite expensive, so I think this is the best bang for buck if you want to do everything on a gaming desktop. Now, if you are more into video editing and you're a professional, then you may want to consider 64 gigs, but I found out that 32 gigs is the sweet spot if you want to be in both worlds without breaking the bag. For the storage, I picked the Team Group Cardia Zero, 2TB of Gen 4 SSD. This is ultra fast for gaming, is all that you're going to need, and it's so fast that it's also great for content creation and transferring a bunch of files. That said, if you are just for gaming, you can save some money because you won't notice a single difference between this one and a slower SSDs. And if you're on the other stream, you're a professional content creator, you may want to get something faster depending on your workloads. And I think 2TB is going to be the sweet spot once again for both worlds. Then for the graphics card, I picked the MSI RTX 3080 12 gig version. This one is going for 845 bucks. And before you comment that the 6900 XT is cheaper and better, yes, I know, but we are talking about purely gaming performance. If you take into consideration the NVIDIA encoder, the RTX 3080 is a more complete GPU and that's why I put it here. Then for the case, I picked the Lian Li Lankul 215. This one is going for 90 bucks. It has two RGB fans installed in the front and one exhaust fan that you can change with an RGB one if you don't like that one. And then you're going to have the 240 radiator in the top. So the airflow is going to be great and the aesthetics as well. However, you can choose another case if you don't like this one. I will give you a couple options in the video description as well. And last but definitely not least, the power supply. I picked the NRMAX Revolution DF 850 watt 80 plus hole power supply. This will be enough for a 3080 and a 13600K. Maybe if you want to be more on the safe side, you can go with a thousand watts, but I think that 850 watts is going to do it and you don't actually have to spend that extra money, especially if you're not going to overclock the CPU. If you're going to overclock it, then maybe go with a thousand, but if you're not, I think this will be enough. So overall, this PC, it's 1910 bucks. And let me tell you that there's nothing that you can't do on this gaming desktop. And we are talking about 4K video editing, 4K gaming, 4K streaming. There's nothing that you can't do on this PC. That's why I call it the best all around $2,000 PC. And it's not even $2,000, it's 90 bucks cheaper than the price that I say. So that makes it even better. Now, if you want video editing and gaming as well, but your budget is a bit lower, I will explain to you right now what downgrades to make in order not to lose a bunch of performance, but you end up saving some money. So if you want this PC to be 1750 bucks, so around $150 cheaper and almost the same exact performance, I would recommend you downgrading the GPU, the storage and the CPU cooler. For the CPU cooler, you can go with the thermal ride Peerless Assassin Air CPU cooler. This one has RGB as well and it's going to be enough for the i5 13600K. However, if you're going to overclock it, then I don't recommend you doing this downgrade. Then for the storage, I went with the PNY CS1030 2TB of Gen 3 SSD. This is not the fastest SSD in the world and if you want to take video editing seriously, then you probably don't want to make this downgrade. 
But if you're more into gaming, then you can make this downgrade. And even if you're into content creator, it's not like this storage is going to be slow, it's just not going to be as fast. And then for the graphics card, I picked the MSI RTX 3080 10 gig version not the 12th version, and with that, you're saving around $60. So there you have it. You're losing not a lot of performance, and you're saving $150. Now, if you just wanna do gaming, you don't care about content creation, then for 16 hundred and thirty bucks, you can switch the RTX 3080 10 gig version to the RX 6900 XT. This one is going to be around 5% faster on gaming. So yes, you're getting better gaming performance and you are also saving money. Now, the only way that I'd recommend the RTX 3080 even for gaming is that if you care about ray tracing, but if you really care about ray tracing, then I recommend you going with at least a 3080 Ti if you're going to play at 4K resolution. And then you can also save money with the storage going with one terabyte or going with 16 gigs of RAM because 60 gigs of RAM for gaming is going to be enough and you're going to save more money. But this is the last downgrade that I recommend you doing if you don't care about an all around gaming desktop. And then if you want to make this PC a bit more expensive for $2,064, I recommend you upgrading the graphics card to the RTX 3080 Ti going for a thousand bucks if you want an all around gaming desktop. However, if you're at this price point, I do recommend you waiting until AMD releases the new RX 7900 XTX is going to be in December so I do recommend you waiting a bit because maybe that one is going to outperform this one in terms of price to performance but we don't know if AMD is going to back up their words and do a great content creation and a streaming GPU as well so the 3080 Ti is going to give you all that you need anyway for another round gaming PC but if you want to wait a bit longer maybe you can get a better deal. Anyway you're getting a graphics card that's around 11% faster than the 3080 and this whole system is going to be excellent for any need that you have. Now if you go with the 3080 Ti then I'd recommend you upgrading to a thousand watt power supply. I believe that 850 will be enough but a thousand will be recommended. And if you got value out of this video leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button because I will upload the best Black Friday PC builds for every single budget next week so keep that in mind stay tuned for that video if you want to see the best gaming PC deals and get the best prices. And if you're new to gaming PCs and you don't know how to pick any component, in the top right of the screen, you will have a video where I explain how to pick the right components for your PC build. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.